What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And today we're going to take Rugal above and beyond what he already is to Awaken level 1 star. Now, how far I can level him up, we'll find out because the experience miles that you actually need, you can only get from Guild Raid currently right now playing on Inferno. Now, I just wanted to run through the process with you guys and just share with you the first time taking a character to Awaken level 1 star. Now, the way this works is once a character has a change of kit available, for example, right now it's just BS Orochi, BS Rugal, nice. 98, or I'm sorry, 98 Omega Rugal and 97 Orochi, all those characters have change of kits, and future characters will also be getting change of kits. You know, SS characters and BS characters, and maybe even collaboration characters in the future. Now, I hope they do rectify the fact that you do have to use three BS memories for 97 Orochi and for 98 Omega. That's a bunch of bull crap. Hopefully, they do change that, but that's how you have to do it, guys. You know, right? You guys have three memories for the character to do the change up system uh three bs memories for these characters to actually do the change up system and once you do that then you can actually do the change up kit for them right but you can only awaken the level one star once they're at level 50 and you're gonna have to farm for the materials that you need in the dispatch farm for these shards right here and once you get a thousand of these shards then you're able to craft one of these prime memory shards and you guys can see i do have a thousand i got very very lucky and actually got 400 of these shards one time from dispatch and that really helped out so we're going to go ahead and create it right and this is what you need to take your character to awaken one star or to awaken two star after your character's already at level 50. so we'll jump out of here we'll go back into rugal and we'll hit awaken and we'll have one star. Now, before we do this, I want to show you guys the damage difference because I don't even know. You can see the CP difference between having him at level five and then one star, right? And obviously, guys, when it comes to CP, it really depends on how much CP your character already has as far as how much they're actually going to gain. But it's, kind of, it's based on percentage amounts. But you can see his HP does go up a little bit by what 8,000 which isn't bad and then his attack goes up by another 2,000 which is pretty good actually a little bit less than 2,000 actually around a little over a thousand about 13 1400 something like that and his defenses don't really change hardly at all and he does gain a little extra penetration so before we do this I want to jump in spider robot and show you how much damage he's actually doing right now so you guys can see the damage difference in him right I already got a memory set on old boy Okay, so let's remove this guy right here. All right, we'll remove him. Still got a little bit of a bug on the PC client here. And then let's slap 98 right here. There we go. And let's see how much damage we do. Uh, they're not going to let me unless I put another fighter up here. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. There, there. There we go. Okay. So we'll see how much damage we do right now, you know, at A5, and then we'll see how much damage he does at Awaken level 1 star and see just what the difference is. I mean, like I said earlier, guys, he really, I mean, Rugal really doesn't need this. I mean, he, this character is pretty freaking nutty already, but, right, if you can do it, why not? Okay, so we're going to back up here. And let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And, and now I might do a little, I mean, the, I might end up doing less skills or maybe the same amount the next time. We'll see. But this will give us an idea of just what kind of damage difference we have here. Right? So right now he's got 246 million. Remember my fame systems are actually just at level 10 right now. And we were able to hit 251 million. 251 million. All right. So we'll just have to remember that. Now let's take him to one star and see how much of a damage bump this is actually going to make, right? And the other thing is, guys, whenever you do level your character up even further, you're going to gain more points for your core board. And that can make a big difference as far as your damage because they only allow you to level up your character so much with the points that you already have. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, right? So we'll jump in here and let's go ahead and awaken him even further. Oh, my boy's going all out, man. He's going Super Saiyan. nice 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 a little bit of a cp jump so now you can actually level them up even further with 
capsules, which is pretty crazy. And I already guessed for these capsules, which is nice. All right, so we can go up here. We'll increase this here. So, so now you know that you can actually use your capsules to level them up even further. And HP, here we go. So more CP game, right? Now, as far as how many of these we need, I'm not really sure. We got 64 of them, right? And now he's at level 53. So let's do something before we do this, right? So I've been farming in Guild Raid for some time, and we're kind of nailing two birds with one stone with this video. Been farming in Guild Raid for some time now, and you can actually get those experience bottles from there. I'm not uh, in a high enough tier in RHD to be able to farm for the level 6 and level 7 experience bottles. I'm only at tier 52. So we're going to have to just hopefully get these things from the guild raid. If I can find these things, they're usually at the bottom. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Guild raid, guild raid, guild raid. Here we go. Here's some Guild Raid boxes right here. And here's where we can actually get, well, we might even get BS and SS memories, right? But we can get the experience balls that we need from here. So let's collect this and see what we get. All right. So we did get quite a few uh, experience bottles. That's nice to see. Unfortunately, we didn't get a BS or SS memory. That is a bummer, man. That's a bummer, right? And yeah, they're not going to be in here. Yeah. So now we need to find the other Guild Raid boxes. Here we go. So these are the other ones that's going to have that BS and SS memory from Rugal. Come on, man. Come on, man. And oh, there's an SS memory, guys. Look at that. Freaking sweet. SS memory. And we got 25 more of these experience bottles nice nice free ss memory that is awesome that is so sick really freaking cool i'm really happy about that honestly i kind of wanted it to be a bs memory but still it's awesome i'm not going to complain at least i got something so we're going to use all these on oh boy right i'm not sure how many it actually takes we've used 108 so far Right, and I don't think I'm going to gain any points until I get them at level 60. So let me go to the core here. Yeah, we're at 18. So let me see if I can level this up. Yeah, they're not going to let me level that up any further. Yeah, you're going to take your character to level 60 before you can unlock the last EX skill here. Well, actually, there's two of them. Once you take it to level 60, you'll get one more. And then when they go to level 70, you'll be able to get another EX skill right here. So it's going to take me a while. I'm going to have to get more experience bottles to level up Rugal even further. And which just goes to show you guys that, you know, you're probably going to have to start pushing RHD uh, to really, you know, try to get the resource that you need to level up these characters. But it's nothing I would really worry about. And something I do want to do, guys, is because my Rugal has strike seals here and here, I actually want to change this, right? I actually want to reset this, right? So now that I got, you know, three more tokens from changing up BS Orochi. Now I got six, and you can use these tokens on any one of your characters. So that's actually really good to know, right? So what I did was I reset all this, right? And it sucks that you got to reset all of it to do this again, but I want to do it right. And we're actually going to level up his strike skills to 160% right here. There we go. We'll go here, right? Because now I got my strike skill leveled up even further. There we go. And I'm actually not even going to worry about this because I don't really even use the shout that much. I did use the shout a second ago, though, when I did that 250 million. So maybe I would want to do it. But Tenacity does give you the reset active skill cooldowns, which is actually that's actually really, really nice. But I would really rather have the other EX skill that actually gives you 99% damage decrease received. I think that would actually be better for Rugal. Honestly, he's so strong. I don't really think having Shout's really going to be a, a, a necessity. Half the time, I don't even use the thing anyways. So I might just go ahead and leave this blank. I think I will just leave this blank and see how much damage we actually can do now. So now my Rugal is sitting pretty at 106,000 CP, we'll jump back into Spider Robot and see how much damage he actually does now. 
So we did 250 million a second ago. What are we going to do now? And if I wanted to jump this damage up, guys, I would just use Kula as a striker, apply some cold damage, and then we could our damage would go up even higher. Right? Which we might even do. I mean, why not? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And... All right, and man, freaking damage is just nutty with this guy. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, we already hit 250 million before we did our 3 PG, and I didn't use shout. That shout can add 10, 15 million on your score. So now we did 258 million. So if I would have had the shout on, we would have done even more damage, right? If I would have used Shout and uh, enacted it, we would have gotten more damage. Because I, like I said before, it gets like 10 to 15 million. So really, his damage went up. I mean, if I had the Shout involved, it would have went up a good 15 to 20 million points. Which is a, you know, it's a pretty substantial amount. Just for fun, guys. Just for fun. We're going to go ahead and put Kula in there just to show you guys the, the difference it makes whenever you actually apply Chill. Because it does make a big, big difference. We're going to lose the decreased skill cooldown from having Omega Rugal as a striker. But he's going to do a lot more damage now. Because we're actually going to have the right dot applied to Spider Robot. So we can do more damage. Let's see. And if I had my fame system leveled up. You know, we could do this in like one awakened rotation. Rugal is pretty nutty, guys. It's just... The EX changeup kit thing is just really broken. And... And you can already see, guys, the damage is just crazy here, right? As long as that chill's being applied, we are whopping out some serious, serious damage. Look at this. Right? Uh, one, one awakened rotation, guys. One Awaken rotation, and he's already done like about 450 million damage using Cool as a striker. Yeah, 400, almost 453 million. Yeah, just insanely broken, insanely broken, just nutty. Okay, and let me show you something else. Right, this is pretty nutty too. So now we're just showing how broken uh, the exchange of kit is, uh, especially on Rugal and even Rochi, by the way, guys. I mean, he's he's pretty godly himself. And whenever I get him unlocked and I can level him up to one star, we'll probably talk about that in another video. But watch this. Rugal's got an advantage against this guy, right? I'm going to go ahead and spend the 100 rubies, guys. Watch this. We'll get some gold hammers out of the deal. Why not? Really don't want to spend rubies right now because you're saving up for Street Fighter. But I don't want to wait till the reset to make this video. So, let's do it. Watch this. It's all Rugal, guys. It's all Rugal. And... And as you guys can see, it is just all Rugal completely destroying this crap. Uh, yeah. Just broken as hell. Right? Just broken. Absolutely nuts. I've actually done this in one full awakened rotation. And there you go. Pretty much one awakened rotation. I've actually done it faster than that. Rugal kind of moves around whenever you're facing Mortal Vulcan, but that's how easy it is. Yeah, and my fame system is only at level 10. By the way, this is what I mean by... The Immortal Dungeons are becoming pretty much a joke. I realize that everybody's got, you know, a Rugal like this. But still, if one character can do something like that, I mean, whenever you have three SS or BS characters on your team, it's just super easy to take down the dungeon. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, definitely stronger. Definitely better. But I really think at this point, it's really just more of a bragging thing than anything. It's really not a necessity. I mean, having characters this strong isn't really a necessity. It's cool. And all it's cool that, you know, my, my favorite character is so strong. 
And it's going to be cool when your favorite characters are super strong or stronger than what they already are as well. But it, it really isn't a needed thing. And now, you know, if you really want to try to level up these characters, like if you're all about the change of kit and you're all about leveling up these characters, you're really going to want to push RHD. You're going to want to push this thing here so that way you can get the experience balls. Right now, I'm just getting these... Uh, Level, I get level six experience balls every day. I get two of them right here, which is good. That helps, but it's only two of them. So I really need to start pushing this. So that way I can start getting more of them because the higher the tier, the more experience balls you're actually going to gain. So let me know what you guys think about Awaken level one star uh, Rugal. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. to plus seven time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.